bring in our panel now, Bruce Hawker and Graham Morris. Bruce, first you via Skype uh, today. I want to ask you about this package, $130 billion. Labor had been calling for it. They're supporting it very forcefully today, but they're not the only ones. We're hearing very strong support from the business community, unions, right across the board, Bruce. Well, it sounds very much like the Accord, doesn't it, Kieran? Yeah, where you get business and the unions coming together, uh, the opposition and the government uh, working closely on the issue. I think uh, in Canberra and in the States, uh, the fight against the coronavirus is now starting to hit its straps. And I think that's very encouraging. I feel much better about it personally than I did this time last week. Yeah, and, um, well, I can see why, because the payment, Graham, uh, this commitment, it's a huge commitment. You compare $130 billion in six months to, say, the future submarines project, $80 billion over decades. It gives you a sense of the gravity of what's just happened here. And, Graham, the other thing is we're starting to see some encouraging noises. Not, I wouldn't say optimism, but at least some encouraging signs from our health ministers in terms of this effort to flatten the curve? Yeah, look, the, I think the health, health Minister, Greg Hunt, has been magnificent. Um, look, on yesterday's package, um, I, I thought it was extraordinarily generous. You know, we're going to have a lot of young people being paid more not to work than they would have had they been at work. Um, you know, I, I can understand why. Um, and, you know, if this doesn't save some jobs, then, then nothing would. It, it was an extraordinary generous package. Had, but I thought today's development uh, with, with Qantas and Virgin, uh, A, I thought they were poor form. While people were dying, dying, they're still out there sort of bartering, you know, I should have four times more than Virgin. Oh, no, you shouldn't. But it does lead us to about four steps on, and that is... What Minister Hunt and the Prime Minister are doing now is just stage one. We're still fighting the thing. We haven't even hit the bottom yet. But at some stage, somebody's got to come up with some principles as to what government money should be used for. For example, um, the, the airlines. Well, well, we certainly need essential services, so water, electricity, hospitals, all of that is a no-brainer. Airlines... You know, post this, do we need two airlines? It's nice, but is it essential? What do you do with, you know, is, is, is the dental industry more important than a football um, code? You know, th I'm not quite sure yet what the principles would be, but, you know, es essential service, no-brainer, national security, no-brainer. But then these other industries, they're going to have their hand out. That's going to be serious, serious money too. Really hard to 